Hey Jacko, as you might know, in DaVinci Resolve you can go into the Fusion page and use polygons to make custom shapes. But did you know that with DaVinci Resolve 18.6 you can now go to Effects, Tools, Shapes and you now have the Shape Polygon. Which is similar to this polygon but this one is a shape. So let me just spin it so we can compare it. So this is the polygon and this is the shape polygon. So in the shape polygon we have the style, we can change the color, which you cannot do with this one, you would have to use a background node to change the color. So what else do we have? We have the burrator width in the shape polygon and we have the burrator width here. This one has the soft edge, this one does not. As you can see. This one can be used in the 3D space as it has the z-axis. You can change the size and you have the rotation and you also have the fill in method. In both cases you can right click on the shape animation to remove it and then publish it. And why you would use this? Well let me make a rectangle, just a small one. In here I would maybe go to the center, go to path, in the modifiers I would right click, connect it, either the polygon, this is what we would usually do, the path, enable displacement and now we can move it, but let me remove the publish one and connect it to the S polygon. So we can move a shape with the polygon or the shape polygon because we have a path. But what the shape polygon also allows you to do, let me add another shape, maybe this one, and I'll combine them with an S boolean and you can get a custom shape easily. The only downside at this point is that the lines are not smooth. As you can see, so in that case we have to render this out. This is now to the composition that we can connect to the media out. And what we can also add is maybe a blur node. So I have the S boolean displayed on the left. As you can see it's jaggedy at 100%. And this is the S render node. I didn't change any of the settings and it looks like this. It might still be a little bit jaggedy. So if you want to smooth things out, you can add a blur node and adjust the blur size. So adjust the amount by a tiny bit. And that's the new shape polygon tool. If you found the video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, until next time Jackals, keep it digital.